Question number four, the in the name of the Honourable Marama Davidson. To the Acting Prime Minister, does he stand by his statements about educational achievement in schools? Uh, yes, uh, in the context in which they were delivered. Has he seen evidence from the recent PISA study which shows dropping achievement can be explained by the number of students coming to school hungry? Uh, Mr Speaker, most certainly we are aware of that report. It is a misnomer. The reasons why there is so much massive failure at schools to do with truancy and a whole lot of other reasons for an education system that began in 1877 making school attendance compulsory. If you start there, you might start getting the education system fixed up. What is his response to findings that achievement for students in food poverty are up to four years behind their peers who never miss a meal? Again, the report that that member would have been aware of, commissioned uh, by that former government and reported on in 2023, under sections 24 and 25, does not find any such outcome in the way that member mistakenly is implying. Does he accept findings in the recent independent evaluation of the school lunches programme that it contributes to happier and healthier students, which is likely to result in better school outcomes. It was a report that also said that there were improving, improving nutrition intake, particularly for those 7.3 per cent of Akonga, with least access to sufficient food at home. However, it went on to say, however, the valuations have found no impact on attendance, and with respect to Māori, who make up around 48 per cent of students receiving the programme, have not benefited on most metrics, such as school functioning, e.g. paying attention in class, health and mental well-being, with mental well-being worse off for those in the program. Now, those are the screaming facts that Māori want to know about. Will he commit to improving student well-being and school achievement by keeping the Healthy School Lunches program beyond 2025 and expanding it in the future to more learners struggling with food poverty. Well, that member will be aware that the very program itself had a finality about it, and that's what the issue we're talking about right now and that uh, uh, Mr Seymour is addressing. Mr Seymour is addre addressing whether we're, getting whether we're getting value for money or, as we are told by so many teachers at our schools, there is such massive waste and our job is to ensure that when we make, when we make available programmes like that, that they do work. And so a very sensible, rational evaluation needs to be done now, rather than this, clear, this screaming reaction that says every cent spent is spent well. And it's not the case at all. Go and ask the teachers, go and ask real Māori who know down in the schools what's going on. Ask somebody who's been in a classroom, not somebody who's forgotten what it's like. 